you for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about um, login flows. And before I actually jump into the flow and uh, how it is built, um, I'm just going to show you a quick demo. So here I am on the login page and I'm going to log in as this user. No. And what's going to happen is instead of going to the directly to the login screen, it's going to direct me to a flow looking interface. So here I'm just going to say, let's make Tina. And you can also make required fields so that I have to um, I set the terms and conditions. So as you can see, what this lets you do is um, add additional um, capability when the user log in. So you might want to authenticate with a different, um, different uh, use case or different rules. Or maybe you wanna you want to have your users updating their information or verifying their information every time they log in. It's also a good use case for community. So if you have a portal community user and you want them to verify their email address and phone number and all that stuff every time they log in, you can also do that um, by using a login flow. Um, and hit next, and it, it should take them. Obviously, I added an additional screen here, but finish. It should take them to wherever they're supposed to land. Or uh, you can also control that as well. You might want to land them to a specific page. You can do that using login flows. Okay, so that was the demo and now let's see how we do it. Um, I'm going to have to log out of this to log in as the system admin. So we'll do that. So, okay, I'm going to log in as system admin and uh, I do have uh, the documentation open here. So login flows are essentially what you just saw and it is very similar to creating, it is creating a flow, but you do need to be familiar with this login input variables, which is in the documentation. So basically what this means is you need to create the variables, specifically like how they mention here and use that in your flow. So let's say if I want to use the, the way I was able to get my user info on to, onto that screen was by using this. What I did was I used an, uh, a get record method and got this login flow user ID. Give me the first name, last name, what and other fields where ID equals to login underscore user ID. We'll see that um, in a second. So log in here and I'm gonna go to the flow. Um, to keep this video short, um, I'm just gonna quickly walk you through the flow that I built and it's really simple. Um, obviously you can get crazy depending on your use case you might want to redirect them to a new page or different page or maybe get more information get you can also do other methods of authentication like uh, bio authentication or whatever your use case might be but this is a simple one so what I'm doing here is first of all I'm getting the records so here I'm saying get records of this object and if you have built flow before you know how to get records. Um, so ID equals login flow underscore user ID. So this is, should be exact. And I'll show you where that is. Um, getting the record and storing all the fields. And if I go to manager, I created that record. Um, sorry, I created that variable, which is login user ID right here. So um, that's just a variable of the API name of login user ID, text, and that's it. Um, and then I'm using that as an ID field. It is similar to using a record ID when you are on a page um, and trying to create um, add components or lightning flows to refer to the ID, same concept. And then there's a screen and all I'm doing is getting that name here, name uh, standard lightning component, and then populating, pre-populating the values for a better experience. Obviously, you don't want to just show them first name and last name uh, with empty fields. So I'm defaulting that to logged in user. This was the first get record element dot first name. So it pre-populates the first name and then pre-populates the last name. Um, this is just a checkbox, and you can add whatever you want to add here as a question. And it could be anything, really. Um, and that's it on this one. Um, next thing I'm doing is updating those records. So you get the update record info. 
um, user update record of this type, ID equals login for user ID, and then consent, you just update through that consent, first name equals that, last name. So if the user updated something, it will be captured in that updated first name screen, ele screen element that we just saw. And the last step, you don't need to do this. It could be a redirection to some other page, but I just wanted a success message here, so just for the testing. And that's pretty much it for the flow. So there is one more additional step um, in login flow. That's what makes it login flow. So the thing that makes it login flow is those variables and as well as um, actually defining it here. So you need to go to login flow and hit new. And basically, you have two types of login flows. Um, and this flow is different than that flow. That's like login flow. Um, and visual force page, if you want it custom to your needs and use that flow. The other flow didn't appear here. Um, and then whatever, you can use it for customer community even. So anything. Um, and the profile will change based on what you used. So I already have one and the demo that you just saw at the beginning of the video. So that's pretty much it. That's how you build a login flow and it, it should update the user's information as as they chose to. Let's see if I can bring up that user. Yeah, so I updated my user to, from Tima to Tina, and that's updated here. So uh, this is really helpful, mostly for community use cases, and also since you can control it through profile, um, it adds you a lot of flexibility. And you can have different flows for different types of users or um, different profile group of users. So I, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, and if you haven't tried, tried it before, give it a try. It's always good to know what's possible. Um, and please let me know if you have a specific use case that you're trying to solve as well. I'm always looking forward to um, get more use cases and, and learn through that. So thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody's staying safe. Um, 